Anybody out there? Barrett! I think I hear him up ahead. Hey! Can anybody Here hear goes. me? And push! <laughs> It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before, it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. The hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. <sighs> and she did? You sure? Hey, where are you going? How could this happen? Hell, I don't really on. think. That. Come on, dear. We gotta keep moving. Tell me this isn't happening. When is hell got a going friend to in Sector Seven. It looks bad. But there's no is this for real? Figures. Radicals. It wasn't an accident, was it? How would I know? You 
Stop it with that talk. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey, Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see. Nothing. Let's go. Hey, pretty crazy, huh? Can you believe this mess? You doing all right? I am, but I can't say the same about my birds. Poor things are scared half to death. Gotta calm them down somehow. Times like these, people are gonna need our help. It's like there's a hole in the sky. Man, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Don't you worry. They'll be fine. Every plate's got its own support, you know. Who could have seen this coming? It's all so tragic. Having the ground fall right out from under you. So what's gonna happen now? are so frightened, they're refusing to move. Wait, over there. You don't think this is our fault? What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Mm. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Monsters with a few screws loose. Did you find what you were looking for? Thanks to you, I did. Good. Now never let it go again. Probably, but the house is gone too. I need to prep for my next show. Times like these, song and dance are truly essential. The stage could be yours. The first thing we need to do is find a place to take refuge. Ways to take them out safely. Or maybe no one learned anything after the Sector 6 collapse. Still, I have to believe that we can make a difference. First thing tomorrow, let's go and look for survivors.
Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. However did it come to this? I don't like not knowing what's going on. Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? You guys run into Jesse at the villa. Yeah, Biggs too. They were both in let pretty bad them, shape. Let me throw, my but Wedge is wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. So where's this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then, pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. the house. Marlene! Marlene! Where's Marlene? Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. She's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. 
Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But... He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! <sighs> no! Go away! <sighs> You know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the Ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the Ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the Promised Land. <sighs> Some believe the Promised Land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. 
Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us... You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! <sighs> but Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could... if I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. Take care of yourselves now. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. Cloud, I'm glad to see that you're okay. In these trying times, I hope to develop new materia to help us endure. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator.
done, Cloud. I have compiled some rather fascinating data. Another battle awaits. Find me when you're ready. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a look. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. My ears are still ringing from it. This kind of thing isn't supposed to happen. Over there. shower.
blocked. Ugh. There, that way. We'll have to fight our way through. But it's our only shot. Good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Just like that, okay? I gotcha. Not so 
fight fast. You are coming here. You'll need to provide new compensation. Give me a best shot. You again? Oh, shit. <laughs> Friends of yours. <laughs> We can go this way. No, there's monsters everywhere. Do you remember how we used to play around here? Never would have crossed our minds back then. Our flames could drop out of the sky. Still in one piece. Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. We need able-bodied men and women. Damn it. We can't afford to lose any more lives. Not now. You find your friends? I really hope that all my friends are okay. I'm sure they are, honey. Don't worry. Never know what you're gonna run into out there. Best be prepared.
Careful out there. Sector 7, huh? Yeah. Left a few things behind. You see? I know it's not much, but it's all I got. Godspeed.
Let's see what's on the other side. Finally, I could use some fresh air. Damn it! I still can't believe this happened. new and start over. Out there. I wish I hadn't made it out. Hey, Don't you? say that. Things will work out. Thank you. They always have. Again. That one was a lot closer. We had a lot of money saved. Hello! Is there anyone out there that needs some help? tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Hello! Anybody I take it that little Marlene is safe and sound. That little girl's a hell of a lot stronger than you might think. Anybody out there? You can hear me! Shout! Can you hear me? Anyone there? Hey! Hey! Tifa. That's Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. Ready? One, two, three! Hey! 
We're coming down. Stay right where you are. <laughs> this place reeks of Shinra. There's no path, you gotta make one.
beneath our feet. Not going down without a fight.
Sorry. Did you just shoot your way in here? Well, yeah. Another damn ladder. Holding up okay? Of course he is. He's a lot tougher than people think. Probably sleeping soundly, dreaming about his cats. You're right. We should treat him to a nice meal when he gets back. His choice. <laughs> you ain't getting out of this one. Ooh. Ooh, gotta love you. Hope you don't mind if I'm getting into the hole. 
Focus! Move! 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 Not so fast. if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Not sure. this
that stuff. Chief, you're up. Okay, cover me. And you giving me orders? What the hell? 
hell's that? We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. They... They were supposed to return to us. We stop now. They'll never let us live it down. So, we carry that weight. 